We mentioned that this week is the beginning of celebrations for the Lunar New Year all around the world, the most festive time of the year in China in particular, especially this year after nearly all COVID restrictions were removed for the first time since 2020. As Elizabeth Palmer reports, this is happening after a long delayed and huge spike in COVID cases there. In his New Year video address, President Xi Jinping admitted that China's COVID surge had been fierce and fast. That's no understatement. A top Chinese epidemiologist estimates 80% of China's population has now been infected. That's more than a billion people, most since the start of December. Chinese health officials have confirmed just under 80,000 COVID deaths, but Western analysts think that's a wild understatement. We expect that the number of deaths will uh, peak in around one week ahead and it will reach uh, the uh, one million mark, so one million of total deaths uh, uh, at the end of this month. We may never know the real toll, especially as Chinese doctors are under pressure not to list COVID on death certificates. Over the past week, millions of Chinese city dwellers traveled home to villages and towns for the Lunar New Year. There were concerns they might take the virus with them, setting off a second lethal wave. The CBS team headed to the provincial city of Zhao Tong. Shooting covertly, as COVID is a sensitive subject, they found the virus had arrived some time ago. One woman explained her mother had tested positive, and a man waiting said, oh, almost everyone around here has tested positive, like 80 percent. It does appear that China's COVID outbreak has peaked and is starting to decline. If that's true and the economy starts picking up, the new year is indeed off to an auspicious start. For CBS Mornings, Elizabeth Palmer, Tokyo.